just want to say to everyone who is here, thank you for being here. If you are watching at home, there is one thing. Everyone is a meter apart. You can see everyone's a meter apart. Hands have been sanitized. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a very special day today. If you are watching and you're wondering to yourself, what is the connection? If you didn't know, Nelson Mandela was a huge boxer. He loved boxing. He celebrated the art of boxing. Now, today we have different guests who are going to be saying a couple of words. We're going to have people, fighters that are going to be in the ring and showing you what they've been doing for the last couple of weeks. We've got a youngsters coming on first. You're coming on first right next Are you ready? Put your hands together for youngster. Why you wanna dust me? Just be liquor. Don't be extra, just be liquor. Think you clever and you better? Just be liquor. Okay, bro, whatever. Just be liquor because I'm so liquor, 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 liquor. I'm so liquor, 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 liquor. She's so liquor, 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 liquor. We so liquor, liquor. Yeah, my bro. Peggy, I thought you'd have something better to say. Why you always talk about me in a negative way? I'm honoring OGs like it's Veterans Day. It's carbs that fiber, we aren't American made. Most of these rappers are stuck in the development stage. Auto tuning music sounding like you, Eric Benet. I make you not. Now tell me how does medicine taste, but I make you liquor when I put you on the medical aid. Now you wanna make me quiet, so I'm saying, Ati Bok. If you know Riyadh, you know that he's a Dalarut. Say Pratum Baskov, but all you do is talk a lot. Acting hard like the rock but softer than a Wilson block Swallow the bad words or get eaten like a vegan Half Middle Eastern Cape Cavalier without Cleveland CPT goat, my quotes are pure goat If you don't wash your mouth out with soap Why you wanna just me? Just be liquor Don't be extra Just be liquor Think you clever and you better? Just be liquor Okay, go whatever Just be liquor because I'm so Liquor, 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 liquor I'm so Liquor, liquor Lekker lekker, she so Lekker lekker, lekker lekker We so Lekker yeah. lekker yeah. Uh, the Owens say they lit, so I'm turning on the sprinklers. I put out their fires and lighters with rhyming extinguishers. I made the city hot and did it singular. Now my name is known throughout the West Car Peninsula. Deep down inside, bro, I know you really love me. Your slippers are fluffy. You probably cuddle in a onesie. You a duppy. You can't lump with us. Go study. Lick this middle finger like Kentucky and top it with fruit chutney. But it's gonna get messy, so I think you need a bib. You aren't on my radar. I don't see you on my grid. I can send some brasa to come meet you at your crib. Then we're gonna see if you are realer than Madrid. I thought that you were liquor, but you actually not. That's why every bar I rob is an Italian job. Gold bricks in the mini, just give me some leg room. You calculate my steps, you check on my chest moves. You fail badly, you were born in a test tube. 021, that's my number, tell your kin to send nudes. I made a song for Owens who don't attend school. I x you out the game and left you in a dead pool. Why question mark and you couldn't guess who? I wasn't an A student, but you were a Z, bro. You don't want no problems, you don't want no conflict. I'm brutal with the bars, a lyrical convict. Things take time and you can hear the bomb tick. My name alone is making you scared, I'm John Wick. But assalamu alaikum, it's the 786er. Shukran for the love, I can feel all the lifter. To me, you the low one, I'm calling you Patricia. I feel like a fisher, catch you hook, line and sinker. You are not liquor like the beginning of winter, but I've always been liquor like your sisters. In South Africa, our arts and entertainment industry has undergone enormous change due to digital migration. The monopoly once held by the television industry is withering away, requiring us to imagine an innovative new arts and entertainment sector. The industry requires pioneers if it is to survive. President Ramaphosa spoke for the last couple of months about the new economy, about 4IR, about 5G and the strategic question then is how do we position ourselves as young people in South Africa, in Africa, the elderly, the aged, um, how do we prepare ourselves for this new economy? This therefore is one part of the challenge Fight to Fame is addressing. Furthermore, with the continuous advancement of technology and the advent of COVID-19, it is important to recognize how the world has evolved. This can be seen in the rise of blockchain technology. It is, of, it is one of the most impressive and promising innovations of our era, yet it has not operated without criticism from the established financial sector, as it challenges the status quo 
of central systems, commercial banking, traditional systems, etc. We have therefore infused technology into our business model by developing a novel approach to the entertainment industry with blockchain. As such, the utilization of this technology is not only innovative and progressive, but we believe can ultimately revolutionize the entertainment industry. In fact, what we are doing as Fight to Fame, the question is who's the next generation of the Jet Lees of this world? The next generation of action movie stars. If you look at the globe, then 70% of all the money in the entertainment and film industry resides either in the US or in China. And what we are saying is we've got a billion people, Mr. Mayor, in Africa. We've got in South Africa 55 million people. We've got in the Western Cape 6.57 million people. And therefore, the strategic question is, how do we position ourselves and take up the opportunity and the offer? It's a book about the slave master as well as the slave, and it has propelled the end of slavery. That's the, that, that's the depth of it. It plays itself out in the serious area of Witzenberg in the Western Cape. And my partner, Philippe Diaz, signed a partnership with Andre P. Brink at least 30 years ago. Hi, honorable people of Cape Town and South Africa. I'm Philippe Diaz, I'm the chairman of the Film Committee for Fight to Fame, and I'm also the chairman of Cinema Libre Studio. It's the studio I created 30 years ago when I moved to Hollywood. For me, it's a great honor to be here tonight because when I was a young student in the street of Paris, we were marching regularly against apartheid and to scream and ask for the liberation of Nelson Mandela. We were also singing, you know, the ANC anthem without understanding a word of what it meant, but we were young, so it was okay. I started to make movies when I was 12 years old. I turned professional when I was 19 and produced movies, you know, since then, never stopped. And I created Cinema Libre Studio 30 years ago when I moved to Los Angeles, and Cinema Libre has been focused on documentary feature film from very small to very big, but whole with the same principle, which was to make a difference in the world. I personally even wrote and directed movies about poverty issues or inequalities or exploitation of the South by the North and these kind of things. Fight to Fame started with movies. I met two years ago the man we call Morgan or Dr. Morgan, who was the biggest investor in film in China the biggest film financers of action movies. But he said one thing at the very beginning, he said, well, wait a minute. The issue is that to make big action movies, we have to find a new generation of action star. Because all the, all the Hollywood action stars, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone and Bruce Willis and them, them they are old now and cannot fight anymore you know, as they were fighting before. So we have to find this new generation. And how will we do that? Well, let me bring my friend and colleague Tim to explain to you how we will do that. Hello, South Africa. My name is Tim Smith. I'm the chairman of Global Operations for Fight to Fame. I'm uh, uh, right now across the globe in Los Angeles, although originally I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I have uh, spent 25 years as a writer and producer in television. I've won two Emmy Awards, and uh, I had a great job and a couple of years ago, I heard about Fight to Fame, and the project was so incredible uh, as a sports and entertainment project that I dropped, I quit my job the next day and uh, couldn't be happier. I was watching television about 25 years ago. I think it was South African rugby. And Nelson Mandela said, winners are dreamers who don't give up. And that really touched my heart, and I'm really honored today to help celebrate Madiba on this special International Nelson Mandela Day. Uh, Fight to Fame is a platform for dreamers, so we will be hosting tournaments around the world, and the fights are going to be open to everyone, so all races. It will be men and women, young and old, amateur and professional, rich and poor, in fact, for the poor, we'll have a special program to help cover their expenses so they too can be a part of it and maybe even win the whole, the whole 
program. We're also open to all fighting styles. So whether it's boxing to kickboxing, judo to jujitsu, uh, we're open to everyone. And so we host these fight tournaments and the 50 winners go on to our action star reality show. Now the TV show is going to, it's gonna be really cool. And fans will buy tokens, the fight to fame token of course, to vote for their favorite fighter to move them along in the process. Now, Fight to Fame will have two different types of judges, acting judges and athlete judges. So first, the acting judges will be inviting actors like Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. These, these uh, superstars, Hollywood superstars, will teach some of the nuances of acting, of fighting for the camera, of learning how to, to do a stunt like in a stunt school, learn how to do a stunt that looks very realistic. And the other kind of judges will be champion ambassadors. These are people that have already run, won titles around the world, and they'll help coach and mentor and nurture the contestants. The first one I'd like to introduce is Roy Jones Jr. He won a gold belt in five different weight classes. The only one on earth ever to do that. It was so impressive that President Vladimir Putin invited him, Roy Jones Jr., to Moscow to open a school. Roy Jones Jr. here, being so honored to be a part of Fight the Fame. Mm -hmm. Fight the Fame has come and has taken you to a new plateau. It's making Roy Jones Jr. the legend become mm -hmm. even bigger, uh, even a bigger legend okay. outside of the ring mm -hmm. than I was inside the ring. Mm -hmm. So that's the main focus. So yes. join us, watch us, follow us, mm -hmm. try to be a part of us because Fight the Fame is coming to you. And our next champion is Higan Machado from Rio de Janeiro. He is the godfather. He is the number one jiu-jitsu champion. Coincidentally, has a studio right up the street here in Beverly Hills where he trains actors to do a better job in action movies. In fact, he's trained Vin Diesel, uh, Keanu Reeves, and quite a, quite a roster of talent. And uh, he's just, he's very well respected worldwide. Fight to Fame is the next bigger show. You guys have a chance, check it out the website, fighttofame.com. It's a chance to be a part of this new venture, proposed Fight to Fame tokens. You're gonna see, it. it's gonna be a great opportunity to be a part of this great family who are gonna challenge the events of the future. Fight to Fame, Higa Machado. And our next champion, one very dear to your heart, I bet, Chris Van Heerden from South Africa also known as the Heat. I am looking for the next big superstar out of Africa to be a superstar in Hollywood. If you think you have what it takes, if you are passionate about fighting and you want to showcase your skill, I need you to sign up to Fight to Fame so that I can show off with the talent in Africa. I'm the brand ambassador for Africa and I'm proud of it. Sign up to Fight to Fame. Chris really has that fighting spirit. There'll, there'll be this big weekend in, in Las Vegas. It'll be the finals. And the judges and the fans will vote for the winner. Now, the winner of Fight to Fame, I mean, what an opportunity. They will sign a contract, will be their agent, and we will sign them to multiple Hollywood blockbuster movies that Fight to Fame both finances and produces. That is quite a, a dream to work for, for the kind of person that doesn't want to give up. Remember, as President Mandela said, winners are dreamers who just don't quit. Now that you know how we will find this new generation of talent for this big Hollywood production, these new fighters who will become these great actors that we will put in all of our movies, let me show you an example of what it can do. That's a movie that Morgan produced a while ago. He took a major movie star, Donnie Yen, he took a major boxer, Mike Tyson, and put them together in a movie.
Now I can tell you that we have developed a whole slate of films that we will be producing from very big to smaller budget. Let's start by the very big. Dreams Arc, $300 million budget, a co-production between America and China. The Chinese government already gave its approval, gave a gigantic piece of land where the set will be built and it will become a theme park afterwards. We have also a little bit smaller but still very big budget, a fantasy movie called The Battle of the Magic Dragon. It's a $150 million movie. A pure action movie called 30,000 Miles, $30 million movie. We have a smaller budget, but very important one because of the star in it, which is the movie that we are producing with Jamie Foxx. You know, it will be, it's a comedy with a $5 million budget, which will be very important in the black community here in America. And last but not least, of course, my favorite, because you know, I bought the rights of the book a long time ago, is A Chain of Voices, based on the book by a man you know very well called Andre Brink. It will be a $50 million movie. We will shoot in South Africa with major Hollywood actors and South African star. And we hope to start very soon. I bought the rights a long time ago when Andre Brink was alive. I got Jay Cox, a famous Hollywood scriptwriter, to write the screenplay and never find the right partner in South Africa. Now that we found the comrade Marius, we are ready to go. Now that you heard about movies and sport, there is another big part to Fight to Fame that you should know about. Let me call my other friend and colleague, John, to explain that to you. Hello, my name is John To. I am the founding chairman of Fight to Fame Gaming, and I am honored to be here today for the Nelson Mandela International Day event. What is Fight to Fame Gaming? I'll tell you. Fight to Fame Gaming has signed contracts with different partners around the world. We signed contracts with companies in Europe, Africa, Latin America, and Asia. And we sign company with only the top tier and also the most influential companies such as Evolution Gaming, Red Apple. These companies have valued our Fight to Fame token at $10 per token. They will also circulate Fight to Fame token within their gaming platform and their hotel casinos. The Fight to Fame token will be used on Baccarat Game, Roulette Games, Blackjack, even fight events and football, much, much more. And for the players who decides to buy Fight to Fame token to utilize them on the online gaming platform or hotel casino, they will immediately realize a 25% bonus. And why? Because they're purchasing Fight to Fame token at $8 per token. While they can redeem that same token in the casino and online gaming platform at $10 value per chip, if they win, they can redeem their winnings with different type of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Or they could decide to, if they want to redeem that in fiat currency, their local currency. Or if they want, they can redeem their winnings in Fight to Fame token. Now, that will give you even a greater value. And I can tell you from my personal experience, a 20-year veteran in gaming industry in Las Vegas. This have created a brand new relationship between casino chips, and cryptocurrency. And for the investors who wants to invest in Fight to Fame token, these new group of players, casino players who are buying the, the Fight to Fame token, they will guarantee the value of the Fight to Fame token to go up in value. Now that you understand what BMS stands for, blockchain, movie, and sport, the, the, the part which is very important for us is what it will contribute and give back. Because not only, of course, it will create a lot of jobs with the movies and the sport tournament and so on, but we have also a lot of program to help in a, in a very modest contribution, the development of the region that we will be working in. A lot of tokens will be given to the poorest to help them in their situation. The, a lot of tokens will be given to disabled people or to charity project. And that's what is important in Fight to Fame. We hope that in a in our modest way, we will contribute to the development of your great country. So please, we are here to make it work, help us to do that. Amandla. 
the mayor is going to be coming up to say a couple of words and to welcome everyone for the opening. Mr. Dan Plato, please. Marius, you and your team for the invitation. Uh, really a lovely occasion. And uh, thank you very, very much for the fact that uh, the city of Cape Town and my office, that you made us part of this beautiful venture. Unprecedented times, I think you would have loved to have a full hall of people and things like that, but unfortunately, we need to respect the measures and the regulations. Just heard on my way down to, to this event that job losses in South Africa reach the 3.5 million mark already as a result of COVID-19 and each and every event that could create more opportunities and change the situation in the country, we need to welcome that. And let me use the opportunity to say to all of the important guests, uh, thank you so much for your presence, members of parliament, councillors, and to all the distinguished guests, all the beautiful figures in society, ladies and gentlemen. Um, for various reasons, I love speaking of the cuff, but for various reasons, I'm going to stick to, to the script, unfortunately, uh, looking at the fact that uh, I want to make one or two uh, kind of an announcements from the city of Cape Town side. Um, today marks 102 years since the birth of a visionary leader, a great luminary, an extraordinary statesman, and a brave freedom fighter. Maybe that's the reason why we're in this cage tonight. That's right. <laughs> As recipients of his magnificent legacy in the form of our constitutional democracy, we now stand on the precipice of a new and daunting challenge. The world as we know it is changing before our eyes on a day-to-day -day basis. And the impact of COVID-19 I referred to already on us as citizens of the world is evident through the changing nature with which we relate to one another. Had circumstances been different, this particular event would possibly take place in an entirely different setting, with more guests and possibly a live physical audience. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is now for all of us to be Mandelas of this age. We need to aspire to, to be visionary leaders, as I've said already, and truly embody the qualities that set him apart as a person. We are inspired by the fight to frame South Africa initiative and opportunity. We see the massive potential fight to frame has in giving young boys and girls across Cape Town and South Africa the opportunity to actualize a dream of being a Hollywood superstar. And the question is why not? Why not? Therefore, this requires further discussion between the organizers. My office and that of economic development within the city of Cape Town, and I think Marius France, but the film industry does not only provide entertainment. It is a great financial contributor to our local economy with an estimated 3.5 billion rand a year, employing thousands of people and creating job opportunities for our local Cape Town communities. It is important that initiatives like this be supported so far as it aligns with our collective vision of empowering our local communities. And all the speakers alluded to that as well. We're talking here about upliftment. We're talking here about development, empowering of our disadvantaged people, disadvantaged communities across the board. We want this industry to flourish because we recognize the value it brings to Cape Town and South Africa. In order for this industry to grow, we implicitly stand, understand that it has to receive support from government so that it can continue to develop and provide much needed employment for our residents. And tonight I'm standing here as local government, as a municipality, in great support of this initiative, enabling us to position Cape Town as the premier film and media hub of Africa. As the mayor of Cape Town, I welcome the job creation opportunities which the Fight to Fame project will bring. 
even if it is only one opportunity, you change the life of one person. That person changed the life of his family. And you contribute to the fiscus of this country. And that is so, so important. Moreover, we are excited by the production of the Chain of Voices film, which will be taking place down here in Cape Town. Marius, for that one, that, that yeah, deserve a round of applause. Thank you. And we all need to rally around that initiative as well. This film, which is written by renowned South African author Andre Pribrink, will be truly South African in nature. And we are ecstatic by both the job opportunities and the opportunities also for small businesses. There is always the necessary spin-offs, and we must recognize that as well. Let this be the beginning of a deep and meaningful collaboration for the benefit of our communities in Cape Town and around. Thank you very much. Speaker for the Western Cape Provincial Parliament, Mr. Masizole. Every year we convene in many forms, in many parts of the world to celebrate a great and a statesman. And in this day, as we honor and commemorate the life of Bao Mandela, as we know him, Ukholisatha Nelson Mandela, in our own way we call him Umadiba, our own Madiba. The idea of leaders is not only seen when you are alive. Leadership is seen long beyond your time. The, the idea behind this day was inspired by Madiba himself. When he challenged the next age of leaders around the globe to address the injustices that continue to confront us. Speaking at his 90th birthday celebrations in London's Hyde Park in 2008, Mandela said to us, as you know, Matiba was not someone who shied away from confronting hard realities. He said, and I quote, it is time for new, for new hands to lift the burdens. It is in your hands now. And I would like to say to the guests here tonight, such initiatives like Fight to Fame says to us we need to see the immense value that it adds in the VUCA world, a world confronted with fatality, uncertainty, complexity, and, ab and, and ambiguity. The fourth industrial revolution gave birth to a, to a digital economy, and that, that's the Internet of Things, where the disruptive space of economy forces us to rediscover and find new ways of doing business. We're able to create as many jobs, Honorable the Mayor of Cape Town, Your Worship, to employ young people, but to create creative young people, so that they, Economy is not driven by employees, but is created by those who are willing to take chances and employ themselves whilst they employ others. On behalf of the Western Cape Provincial Parliament, that we encourage this and we are inspired by what we are doing. And you must keep doing more such as this one and ensure that we grow this entertainment industry and we grow the disruptive economy. With the problems and the vices we have in our communities with youth who are at risk, that this would provide them with a fantastic opportunity. Marius Fransman, we wish you well with this program. You can call on Schleck anytime, Southern South Legal Advice Center, and myself, of course, in my capacity as a member of parliament, um, to give support, as we heard from our speaker. The economy will be in good stead when it comes to this program uh, and this project itself. Up next, we have a performance from a lovely lady who I've seen perform many times. I've worked with her before. She's from Kukuletu, 
and I'm from Kukule to myself. Zamim Dingi singing Vugani, Vuyani. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I feel like um, we back, we back. South Africa is back. Vugani. so very much today is um one of the most significant days in the calendar not only of south africa but of the world um, it's a day that we have all come to know as nelson mandela day a day where all of us as humanity we go out and show and do something that is kind to the next human being. We celebrate this year's Mandela Day in the most difficult context, where ordinarily we would be in the streets, in communities, working, interacting with the most vulnerable. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we are not able to socialize, to interact, but it doesn't mean that we can't remember this day 
and do well to a humankind. I do call today to everyone to say, let's continue in the spirit of Ubuntu. Let's continue in the spirit of taking care of each other. The first thing I want to call is for us to remember those most vulnerable. These are our elderly in our community, those who are disabled, the young people or the children. Because during this time of COVID-19, they become the worst hit. Especially in our country, I say let's remember the women who are going through the most difficult time, who are facing the pandemic, fighting for their lives, and also dealing with gender-based violence. As Dada Madiba would have expected of all of us, is also to remember those in the front line, the nurses, the doctors, the police, the men and women in uniform who are working around the clock fighting against this war of this pandemic. As we remember them, let's do kind. If you are able to send a message of encouragement, take 67 minutes just to send something to those who are in the front line to encourage them to support their families, but also as we remember, let's remember those who are most vulnerable, who might not be having anything to eat, anything to put on their table. As we do the 67 minutes, it's part of humankind. We might not be today able to paint the classrooms, able to do what we normally do, go into the homes, because it might not be safe for us to interact with the elderly. But we can still be able to show them love by sending them messages, by sending them, even if it means you send 67 gifts to those communities, to those um, homes, to the workers, the healthcare workers, let's remember them. To the tourism sector family, I also know that you're going through the most difficult time. Businesses are closing, people are losing jobs, Let's take what we do best in terms of hospitality, in terms of treating others well. 67 minutes within our own areas, with the little that we have to show our kindness and support the fight against COVID-19. To the family of Teleshaw and all the colleagues that we've been working with on the project that I believe that it's one of the remarkable projects that we are yet to experience. And as Minister of Tourism, I'm really excited to be part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, fight to fail. I am in support of the program and I'm looking forward to many more activities that will be exciting that the team will be bringing, both to South Africa but to the international community. Thank you. I believe that with Fight to Fame, we're going to go out there, we're going to go and find out, we're going to go and find these talents in the communities, and we're going to bring them through our process in this amazing reality show which we are creating, and then take them through the process where we can find raw talent and take them all the way through to professional. Um, I don't have much to say, but thank you very much for the great opportunity. And I'm standing here tonight as a proud brand ambassador for Fight to Fame. And uh, I just have three things to say to you guys. Um, I believe there's a journey that Fight to Fame has taught me over the few months. And it's, a th and it's a three C's that I believe in. And it is choices, chance, and change. So you have to take a choice. You have to make the choice to take a chance if you want anything in life to change. And I think Fight to Fame is gonna be that representative for me for the future, for everybody that is around the, in the corner of the world, especially in South Africa, for everyone to come and grab them and be part of Fight to Fame. First up, we have Faiz, who's an MMA champ. Faiz! Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You Faiz, EFC, you MMA champ. He's fast. He's quick. He boxes. Chitsu, kickboxing, will, does it all. 
He's nimble. He's fast. But he are a young man, hard man, shouting in the street. In MMA, the you need to be able to do all the different fighting techniques. Predominantly boxing, jiu-jitsu on the ground, kickboxing, and this is an MMA champ. Faiz, up next, the coach, Raisin. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to Fight to Firm and Future Fate to give youngsters such an opportunity to develop Africa. Yeah, Kata is a series of attack and self-defense movements where one is virtually fighting against imaginary components. Um, it's one way for us to be training in karate without making any contact. So um, we have been given permission to open up our karate schools uh, as long as there's no contact. And this is one way of doing it, as long as there's social distancing. Um, there's a very senior cutter, uh, 108 movements. It's one of the longest cutters. And um, Caleb has won many a championships doing this. So it's not just the fighting, it's also kata. That's karate. Thank you very much. And just so that you all know, Marius Fransman's son used to do karate with us, playing soccer now. His daughter is still doing karate with us. And the, she's represented South Africa many times. And the best achievement so far, second in the world in her category. Yo. <laughs> Round of applause for karate, please. All right, up next, we have the Lemon, the Libyan champion. Use your knees, use your elbows, you can punch. Never been to Thailand, you can watch them kicking trees down with their legs, punching barks. The elbow, the punch, the kick, Muay Thai. Round of applause for the champion, the Libyan champion, Muay Thai. Up next, the final one will be the boxer. One of the most dangerous punches ever. The straight uppercut, hooking, a straight one, two. A straight, moving, moving, moving those feet. The thing about boxing, you don't realize that the punch actually comes from below. It's not about just the hands, it all comes from the bottom. Watch the back foot. It's all in the back foot, the front foot right there.
What a beautiful sport. Boom, that's boxing. Round of applause for boxing, what a beautiful sport. We launched a Fight to Fame South Africa on the, launch, on the Mandela Day because we believe that uh, this business, because Fight to Fame is a business, we believe that this business represents the value system of uh, President Nelson Mandela. And at the core of the value system of President Mandela is what? It is human capital. What is it that we can actually offer the world? As South Africans, as Africans, it is human capital. Really, really, really like to thank you for honoring this occasion. And we are absolutely confident that we are actually putting a new platform that is actually going to put the South African situation as well as the African situation onto a new world economic scenario. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Round of applause. Thank you very much. I am the representative of Fight to Fame BMS in Australia and New Zealand. On behalf of Fight to Fame BMS, I, Ronald Sibilo Tibbets, serving as VP of Fight to Fame Token Sales for the South Africa Committee. Hi, Fight to Fame family, it's the Roaring Lion, Carlos Kramer. Fight to Fame's global media ambassador and action star reality show host. This is uh, Fernando Carrillo from Mexico, Tulum. I'm here uh, as the chairman of Fight to Fame, BMS Latin America. As global brand ambassador for Fight to Fame. Bonjour, je suis Olivier Kowalski, partenaire de Fight to Fame à Paris. Je suis Fight to Fame et BMS Hanguk Tepro Irawinan. Andrew Kim in the And I am with Fight to Fame BMS. I am its committee chairman for the European region. Fight to Fame BMS Peru! Haido Kongjo, Yetin Singh, BMS Lam Fei Hong Ku Yao Han Kongsi, Jing Sik Sik Lam. The Mabe Gong He, Itan Tina, Nan Hui Kongo Gongsi, Dire Tiwet Dapwe, Jing Si Kai Si. Big congrats on establishing Fight to Fame South Africa PTY LTD. Fight to Fame has established the Fight to Fame BMS South Africa Holdings Limited. A big congrats to all for the grand opening of Fight to Fame BMS South Africa. Huge congratulations to Fight to Fame BMS South Africa Holdings Limited. 이번에 다가올 7월 18일 만델라 전 남아프리카 공화국 대통령을 위해 Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. I love Nelson Mandela and I love Fight to Fame. Je suis très honoré de participer à cette journée dédiée à Nelson Mandela. Sa vie exemplaire et ses combats sont toujours très présents dans l'esprit des Français. Mandela was a fighter for peace, devoted his life to end apartheid, and his spirit will be remembered forever. Mandela 대통령님은 일루 일루 평화의 치사로서 인종 차별을 없애기 위하여 평생을 바치신 분입니다. 그 위대한 정신은 저희 한국이랑 아시아에도 남아 있고요, 영원히 기억될 것이라고 생각합니다. 다시 한번 축하드리고. As a fighter of peace, President Mandela devoted his life to eliminate apartheid, and his spirit deserves to be remembered forever. President Nelson Mandela devoted his life to eliminate apartheid, and his spirit deserves to be remembered forever. You all are doing wonderful, wonderful work. I'm so proud of you. I wish I was there with you. Enjoy the evening. Mandela 总统作为人类嘅和平之子，佢为咗消除种族嘅隔离，佢奉献咗佢嘅一生。佢嘅精神系值得我哋永远记住嘅。자신의남은생을평화의투사로서배타적인자들의제거를위해일생을바친 Nelson Mandela. President Mandela was a fighter for peace. And he devoted his entire life to eliminate apartheid, and his spirit deserves to live on forever. 
，伊是世界和平的导师，伊的一生拢为着种族的尊严在拍拼。We really are inspired by Mandela's legacy, and I truly believe that we need more Mandelas around the world. And let's keep supporting Fight to Fame because this is the future. Love you. All involved in Fight to Fame, not only in South Africa but around the world. God bless you all. I love you. The future is now. The future is Fight to Fame. Fight to Fame BMS South Africa Holdings Limited is honored to join the world in commemorating. International Mandela Day on the 18th of July. Every year on this day, people from all walks of life celebrate the life and legacy of one of the greatest human beings alive of our lifetime. We all rally to dedicate 67 minutes of our life to honor the 67 years which Nelson Mandela dedicated to fight for a better life for all. Ending racial discrimination, ending eradicating poverty, and restoring human dignity. Nelson Holislasa Mandela taught us that we should stand together in human solidarity and fight the challenges that we are facing, especially in the face of this global pandemic, COVID-19. We can build a better life for all of us all over the world, in South Africa and in Africa. We thank you. It is a singular honor to be with you today, to celebrate a life like no other.